Easy Money Bee. Um, so I went back to Safeway again. I had to get um, another price fixed. It's 37 it was supposed to be 37 cents each for four and I got charged six dollars for four um, so that was about four dollars and fifty cents savings and I, I luckily I live close to the store but that's like a gallon of gas these days maybe a gallon point two five depending on where you're at um, so I, I made sure to come back of course there were a few other items that I noticed on the ad that I maybe I should um, get more of to stock up on because um, they're such a good deal and so I got oh, let me show you okay so yeah I'm doing this in my car I got these cereals um, Fruit Loops special Willy Bonka berry and then these frosted flakes um, these are very popular at my house although they're not very filling um, but I, usually I'd have to get my kids like a protein snack or something mid-morning or maybe with this just to keep tied them over to lunchtime um, but so just so you know I do not give let my kids have sugary cereal every single day it's only on Saturday morning so it's sugary cereal Saturday and so they know that's the only time that they get it um, sometimes they steal some cereals um, I think the Reese's Puffs I try to rarely ever get and the Lucky Charms they still they still the those cereals at least my six-year-old steals the boxes I may have to lock up the pantry again to teach them to stop stealing food especially sugary stuff I lock up candy and stuff and I'm actually buying less candy just because of the amount of theft in my home um, from my children and they need to learn not to steal and respect other people's stuff because we're on tight budget and we need to respect the food yeah I do stockpile but like especially the fresh food that's not always on sale for our staples and so they need to be kind about it sorry for the little bit of the yammering I got these mint Milanos they're normally about $5.99 and I got them for $3.49 they do so here it is August and they don't expire um, well actually the sell-by date is 26 so they might uh, last a couple weeks afterwards but and so that doesn't mean it necessarily expires that day but yeah I got three of those I haven't had mint Milano's in over a year um, just because they're expensive cookie and they're really this good of a deal so I'll, I'll space these out. They're not just for me. I got this one for my husband. Um, so, yeah, I'm be trying to be more mindful of the treats I have and just doing small servings and um, every couple days or so. So I'm working on that. And then I got these teas. They were on clearance, actually. So I got this for $2.97. I think this was like $3.49, but it was still on clearance. It was a little bit more expensive. And that one was about seven. I'll show you the receipt. It'll be more accurate. But these are normally about $6.99 or um, $5.99 or so. So that was a huge savings. And then um, I, yesterday, you may see on the video before this that um, these weren't uh, listed on sale at the, the Fritos section but I looked at the ad again and these were in that section um, they were on sale so I went ahead and got these again I used coupons I should um, do a video on the Safeway quirks of getting your savings to help save you guys from the problems I had yesterday and so I did get ice cream again these stay in my freezer for a long time um, I myself get a small serving of these my husband will eat the entire thing in one sitting which I mean you see the calories 
that's that's a thousand calories for one thing that is absurd and so I got chocolate ice cream and vanilla ice cream and so we, we do have tr uh, desserts together sometimes on Sunday um, but most of the time it's just Friday night treat and then I got these cheeses they were really good price they were $1.67 so 50% off they were $3.99 and they um, I looked at the big two I think it's the two pound it's the two pound one and the two pound one was and it was not on sale and it was 29 cents an ounce and I did the math and these were 20 cents an ounce on sale normally they're like 42 cents an ounce not on sale so usually these are not the best deal but today they were the best deal so I got four of them use a sliced cheese for crackers or we um, save it and shred it up the the best thing about uh, these cheeses like look best fused by January 2024 and um, best thing about these cheeses as long as they're vacuum sealed like this so if you ever get a cheese that's loose and vacuum sealed that cheese will not last long that will go moldy so as long as you don't open these they will last a long time because um, they're vacuum sealed and so they won't get moldy so keep an eye so if you notice something that's baggy let the cashier know because that will go rotten um, yep that's all I got so it was a just a short trip let me show you my receipt so they had to correct this and so that's there so yeah I got the see the Doritos 352 off so I made two or seven so I got those neck uh tees since they're on clearance they came off the cereals uh four dollars and fifty two cent savings of so dollar ninety seven each as more of the teas for three oh two uh, savings of 302 so 297 some reason when you do self checkout these coupons show up like this um, and then and I'll, I'll get to that uh, coupons are a little bit of disaster when you do self checkout let's see and then I got the cheese the fruit punch the Ben and Jerry Briars Briars ice cream. Um, so we discussed that. That's $2.97, $2.97. That's $3.52 savings. So a total was, well, actually it's less than this. Um, I spent, let me see, correction um, from yesterday's, which is the avocados, that was $4.52. That was the correction. So let's not count that. Uh, the $7.50 was for today's um, thing. So subtract $7.50. That about $0.57. No. $0.56. Cents, 50, sorry. $56.60. And so I spent that. And... Um, yeah, I, I did that. So, uh, so fifty-six dollars and sixty-two cents is the actual savings. And then you see the savings here. Um, it would have been about. Um, I'll do the math again. Almost fifty percent off. About fifty. No, I think the only thing is I got a sale. I, Pretty sure it will be 50% off of my total. Um, yeah, it'll be 50. It definitely be 50%. It'll be more than a little bit more than 50% off. So it's a huge savings. I know this is not um, normal shopping where you 
make a plan and get the, the items you need. Most of the items I do have at my house, they I already have them. Or I buy some of my stuff at Costco and so I just supplement stuff at the store and there are certain items I only get at the store, especially if they're on sale. So they um, get on sale and right now, um, since I have a little bit of a stockpile of all other fruits and fruit vegetables um, from last week's grocery haul, this this week's grocery haul, I actually just I I was only coming in for milk. Then I realized that they were such good sales that I went ahead and got some extra some stockpiling things because those cereals will last us a long time. I only have four kids, so they'll last. Um, I have more cereals at home. And so with those added on, they'll last us at least three or four months. And so those savings will go a long way. And I only get cereal like that if it's on sale. Um, I get some normal cereals, like count uh, like corn flakes, rice crispy treat, rice krispies, um, and frosted mini wheats, which is not that healthy but the wheat in there is a little better so I, I encourage that um, but yeah so I save I, I utilize this type of thing to stockpile a little bit just to stretch us over and so we save more money all the time so I'm, I'm actually shopping at home but I only get things that are on sale that I will actually use um, I've done the extreme couponing thing many, many years ago, and I saved a lot of money, but a lot of the time, I didn't always get stuff that I would use, so that, that was just a huge waste. I mean, yeah, I ended up donating some of it, but that's a huge waste. Um, there were some deals here that I just didn't get because... The hot dogs, Nathan hot dogs were on sale and they were $2 off and that was pretty good but I buy my hot dogs at Costco and freeze them and um, they're cheaper at Costco. So I just, just know where you're saving. Um, I'm working on filling out my price book. I got a price book, grocery price book from she's on in her apron I, I love her channel and so I um, trying to work on being more price point um, I used to be super into um, price points and stuff and so some of the stuff I still remember um, like canned chicken at Costco was $9.99 for the longest time and then now it's like $12.99. At one point, it got almost to $16 for the canned chicken, but they're lowering slowly. Uh, frozen chicken, most of the time, is a good deal if it's not on sale at the grocery store. And ground beef is actually way cheaper at Costco, but if there's a good sale at the grocery store, then you should get it at the grocery store. So you got to price compare. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry I'm yammering a bit. I should do a video more in detail about the tips and tricks and things I've learned to help you. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe and share with your friends that think this will help them. And I want you to have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.